Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today episode is about planting back with other cover crop. Some people might ask why on the earth people grow back with while we know we have our regular weeds. Yes, farmer choose to plant this buckwheat instead of common regular wheat for some reason. In this video, I'm going to answer those reasons. We are going to see sowing, anatomy of the buckwheat, pot buckwheat trials, improve of the soil texture with the buckwheat, buckwheat as the cover crop, Attracting beneficial insect. Buckwheat are the phosphorus scavenger. Right stage to incorporate the buckwheat in the soil. Incorporating the buckwheat the soil when you grow at the cover crop. Buckwheat grain when we choose as a crop and how is harvested. Let's dive in and see how people plant buckwheat. It is planted from the seeds. You can broadcast, you can plant in pots, you can plant in rows, and it grow fast. Anatomy of the buckwheat from the flower to the root, more specifically the root. Buckwheat have sharp roots. Growing buckwheats in pot. We set an experiment to test the amount of phosphorus retained from the buckwheat plants and also to identify the beneficial insect attracted with these buckwheat plants, as well as soil improvement. Finally, the grain yield of the buckwheat, heavy texture of the soil. Buckwheat help to improve the texture of heavy soil like gray soil. Before dive deeper, let's understand first what is buckwheat. Buckwheat is not a true cereal crops like oats, bar or wheat because it is a member of Polygona C family but not the poissy family the grass family like the regular wheat buckwheat is a broad leaf annual crop with a small white or pink flower it's just like regular wheat and this one grow very fast in warm season buckwheat is a self fertilizing crop and grown for grain or cover crop buckwheat is well known as for its weed control and returning phosphorus to the soil. Buckwheat is a natural cover crop. Because of its rapid growth that make ideal for cover crop as well as for the use in crop rotation. Buckwheat are excellent weed control since it develop large canopy that they broke the sunlight and they create the natural shade that outcompetes weeds. Buckwheat flower. First, let's see the origin of the buckwheat, which is believed to be in mountainous parts of southern China. Buckwheat was one of the earliest domesticated crop. It was cultivated in China around 5,000 years ago. And here I am in northern part of China in 2021, bringing to you this amazing buckwheat crop. It's just like normal wheat, but with broad leaves. Buckwheat is grown under a contract as a cash crop in case the wheat production fails. A small percentage of this crop is grown for livestock, especially for chicken feeds, honey production. Also, it can be grown for cover crop, rotation crops, and weed control, of course, as stated this before. 
Buckwheat is the one of the best crop to provide nectar for honeybee. It attracts native pollinator and save several important economic pests. Buckwheat is one of the best crop to provide nectar for the honeybee. It attracts native pollinator and several beneficial economic pests. By saying so, among of them are common visitors such as honeybees, hoverfly, predatory wasp, parasitic flies, and insidious flower bugs. Some research suggests that buckwheat decreases aphid density and aphid transmitted virus in the cash crop like orchard, cash nuts, coffee. And also some research finding reported that buckwheat is when you plant at the living March, it reduces the number of white fry. You know why? Because of biological control. I could agree more with those facts since back with flower attract beneficial insects. You see, some pollinators like half of fry act as a predator to potential pests in our fields and uh, our gardens. Can you see the bee? For advantage of our audience who have less knowledge on insects. Predator insects are insects that eat other insects. And they must eat many insects. That's when it saves the role of natural insect control. Phosphorus scavenger. It is recommended to grow back with as a cover crop, mainly to suppress weeds and improve the soil teeth. See this cover crop, now we are incorporating to the soil. It grow and decompose fast, which make two major nutrients phosphorus, potassium, which make available for the next following crop. However, nitrogen accumulation and the availability is not high with this crop. Also, soil organic matter is not high when you compare it to legumes crops. It needs minimum cultivation practice and management during the growing season. That's why farmer choose this crop. Back with act as phosphorus scavenger by extracting immobile phosphorus from the soil, you know, phosphorus rest immobile, and make it available for the next crop season. Enrichment of the soil by phosphorus help farmers to apply less fertilizer, which is more sustainable. The ability of buckwheat to enrich the soil with the phosphorus attributed to the symbiosis with this mycorrhizal fungi. It is very important to terminate buckwheat cover crop before setting the seed to avoid the seed germinating. When the seed rebirth in your feed after you establish in there and other crops it act as like a weeds. Buckwheat residue which decompose quickly enrich soil with the potassium. Buckwheat contain raw organic matter due to the raw biomass. Buckwheat grain. Flower are self sterile and they need insects or wind to be cross fertilized or pollinated. To pollinate one acre of buckwheat feed, an average of 4,000 bees are needed. That's a lot, but this one attracts insects. So you see, it's an advantage itself. Grain setting and maturity happen in 10 to 12 weeks after uh, planting. And all the seed do not ripe at the same time. Quite difficult in harvesting, you see. Disease and insect are not big problem for buckwheat. Therefore, it can be easily grown as organic system production. Harvesting buckwheat. For commercial farmers, use this combined harvest machine, which basically performs three functions. It rip, fresh, and the winery. Small farmer, they can thrash with knife. Machine thresh the crop and incorporate the crop residue to the soil. 
buckwheat is neither drought nor frost tolerant. However, buckwheat tolerate low fertility soil and they grow well in rain aerated soil with optimum pH of 5 to 6.5, which is the advantage to grow in low fertility soil. Unloading the buckwheat to the trail after harvested and ready to be stored and consumed. You can make bread and other goods like the regular buckwheat. If you find this video useful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.